Hi, I'm Deepti Kiran Maheshwari. I am MLA from Rajasthan. It's a very beautiful city in uh, Rajasthan, and uh, the history comes from uh, Rana Raj Singh. And uh, we, this is a very small town where I am uh, MLA from. We have around 48 panchayats and one nagar palika in the constituency. I just, as I said, that you know, it's a very small uh, place. We have around uh, 250 voters there, and the constituency comes with a lot of village, and uh, there are a lot of farmers uh, living in the in my constituency. And uh, yeah, it's a mix of uh, nagar palika and panchayat system. I think it's a very great initiative uh, by uh, NLC team, and uh, definitely, you know, when we meet other people, other cons, uh, other MLAs, other legislatures from different uh, states, not only your own state but across country, then you definitely realize a lot of uh, problems we might have in common, or the solutions that they are uh, having in dealing with day-to-day -day life or day-to-day -day, uh, challenges. So I think overall, it's a very uh, good way of bonding. Uh, uh, very similar uh, things used to happen when i've done my mba or uh, in our uh, colleges so when you meet anybody uh, who's not in the same who's not put into the same kind of uh, setup then you know you definitely try to, uh, you definitely reach out to different kind of solutions different kind of um, uh, exposure is definitely there when you meet other uh, let's say I think one of the biggest problems that I face in my constituency is uh, water. Uh, in my constituency, there there are few villages where we don't have uh, uh, enough uh, resources. Underground water is definitely a problem, and the biggest one of other uh, biggest challenge that we face is uh, unemployment. So uh, unemployment is something that uh, is. Uh, because of which a lot of people uh, they do not live in uh, rajasthan and they have to travel for their work to other places because cities bombay being one of the place where a lot of people from my constituency live so uh, definitely these are two challenges that i would say that you know the prime ones or the big ones so i'm a first time mla and um, i won in uh, uh, by polls the by election happened because uh, this constituency where i am um, where i proudly call myself as a mla it my mother was a mla in this constituency and uh, she was uh, there she was actually uh, serving the people of rajasthan from past 20 years and then we lost her in covid because of which i got uh, the ticket from the party and uh, i won and uh, it's just been two and a half years and uh, the experience was very different something that i had never thought of that i would be doing in my life but yeah uh, i think it uh, somewhere deep down it definitely gives me contentment that you know i'm, I'm helping people and i'm keeping her name high Uh, definitely it had to be uh, it has to be my mother because you know because of her i am here and uh, uh, the best part about her was her hard work and that's what i have gotten from her so there is no easy way to uh, success or to anything else in your life except your hard work so um, i look up to her because the, of the way being a female and in those era the first time she ever became member of parliament was in 2004 uh, so in that era women did not get much opportunities in this uh, field and uh, she started uh, back in 1990 and uh, since then she's been into active politics so i idolize her not only because she was my mother but i think the balance of life that she had between work and uh, her uh, family life which was amazing so a lot to learn from her life and i idolize her completely uh, okay i think uh, democracy is important i wouldn't say that you know i mean the best feature of democracy uh, it is very important for uh, every one of us because uh, i think it gives you the right to uh, tell your mind to uh, you know confidently 
speak up your mind and do what you want to do uh, without being judged i think that is the that's one of the best feature because uh, uh, if there is you know if we talk about people uh, if we talk about other um, countries if we talk about china as per se that you know the democracy does not uh, it's not there, there at all so you know you've been actually told each and every day that this is how you can do or this is how you should behave or even uh, united um, uh, uae countries uh, i think uh, when we compare our life in india to the life they have in those countries i think the freedom of speech is very important and which is something that i absolutely idolize uh, being into a democratic country it's very difficult you cannot manage it is uh, there is going to be a constant guilt all uh, along your life i think because it's never enough uh, the minute you spend more time in your constituency you will fe feel that you know i mean you're not giving enough in your home i have a 8 year old so it is definitely not easy his exams his uh, uh, tuitions his um, uh, routine and general life because he's uh, very young so he needs me a lot of time and if i spend a lot of time with him or you know if we take a vacation for say for 7 days with him uh, during his uh, uh, in winters or in summers then you know you have a constant guilt that you have missed so many programs in your constituency so it's not easy at all but one uh, you know as the day passes one just uh, learns how to uh, manage it it's it's not like one mantra it's a everyday process it's a regular process which you have to put in a lot of hard work into balancing it my biggest strength um, would have to be uh, my family because uh, without them i cannot reach anywhere be it my uh, maternal side my father or uh, my in-laws i think and my husband of course because uh, without their support i cannot say that you know i can even uh, step out of my house so uh, my biggest strength is the support that i get from my family uh, yeah there there are a lot of instances that um, uh, are there on a regular basis when we meet people but i think one of the instances that uh, when i had started campaigning for my elections and uh, we had gone to this one village and uh, there you know one female came and she hugged me and she's like don't worry if you know i mean you've lost your mother we all are there to support you to help you so you know i i actually kind of got the strength from them to be where i am today so uh, i think that always stuck to me and uh, then first time ever i spoke on the mic and everybody's like oh my god you're so much like your mother which i never thought that i'd ever be and i still don't think that i'm anything uh, like my mother but yeah uh, you know when you get that appreciation it just uh, for me going to rajasthan and being with people over there just makes me uh, more closer to my mother so i think that is something will always i mean I'm so thankful to everyone that I get to uh, serve people like this, make a difference definitely, and at the same time being close to my mom. I think you know it is uh, one area where youth does not explore, uh, and why I say this because uh, being born into a political family, I was uh, only six years old when my mother became mayor. and every time um, i was told rather not as but told by my friends or my family that oh ye to politics mein jayegi jayegi and i would be like no way that that kind of hard work i can't do it's not going to happen but you know uh, when you're here definitely there are things that you cannot do but there are thousand things that you can do to uh, help the government or to make a difference so you know crib how much ever you want to but unless un until you are in the system you'll never know what difference can one make and uh, like anybody else i was also of the purview that you know i mean hum kyu jaye you know we look down upon politicians we all look down upon uh, the fact that acha uh, inki galti hogi it's very easy to blame that oh corruption is there because of politics because of politicians but it's not there there's so much of hard work there's constant criticism how much ever you do it's never going to be enough um, uh, it's it's basically uh, you know crown of thorns that you've got so it's not going to be easy but like any other work be it in a corporate politics is there in any work that you do 
So why refrain yourself to be a part of the government? 